Hi, I'm Dory and today I am sharing a kind of a personal piece of artwork that I did very recently. This painting uh, is a little gift that I made for my husband, kind of a get well card slash I'm thinking of you slash something you can put in your wallet so that you can feel comforted and know that I'm with you. You know, just a little, just a tiny little reminder gift that I'm with him and that I love him. Um, we've been kind of going through a really hard time lately. Um, uh, you may remember me mentioning in my live stream recently that our dog had bronchitis, um, that it um, was very scary that our dog was having trouble breathing and that we'd had spent a great deal of money on getting her well again. Um, so financially we've been really not, you know, worse off than we already were. Um, we also um, had some problems with Dre's health. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a nightmare, so I'll try to explain this as best as I can. Uh, you, you probably remember, I've talked about this so many times, Dre's had, uh, Dre has a disease uh, in his spine, uh, a degenerative disease that's causing uh, the spine to kind of collapse and crumble down on itself. Um, it's called a degenerative spine disease. And he's had uh, two surgeries already. Um, I vlogged both of those, I think. Um, but he just has trouble, you know, one after another. And it's just something that he's never really going to be okay. So he's in a lot of pain. He's in a lot of struggle. They've been saying for a long, for over a year now that he needs another surgery. And he's just refusing to do it. He just doesn't, doesn't want to spend the money on the surgeries anymore. He just because they don't seem to be helping. It's kind of a long story, but yeah. <laughs> uh, recently, we saw a different doctor at his practice, uh, a new doctor that was there, and, and this doctor disagreed with the um, diagnosis that he needed surgery. And uh, this doctor said, um, you need to have uh, injections into the spine uh, to help the herni herniated discs that are there. It'll take the pressure off and relieve the pain and you'll be fine for ever. <laughs> like he literally said, there is no future plan after this. You'll be fine. I'm not really sure why he promised this. It's a very bizarre promise to make. Uh, he also put a condition on it, like he said that he was no longer going to offer Dre any help or assistance with his pain unless he went through with this procedure. So obviously Dre having a chronic illness and a chronic condition that causes him pain on a daily basis, he, you know, felt very hopeful, very excited to have a, a doctor promising he was going to fix everything, um, but he also, you know, felt like he had to do this procedure like he felt like um if he didn't obviously he wasn't going to get help with the pain anymore and that was a f big 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 problem so um he we went ahead and he, he went through with the procedure now the night before the procedure i was looking it up online and i was saying i don't know if this is a good idea like it says on every website i'm looking at that this is not a good procedure for people with diabetes that it, it's, it's bad for diabetics. And Dre was like, well, they know I have diabetes. They know I'm not taking medication for the diabetes because I've had conversations with two other doctors at that uh, office about this. They know that I'm trying to control everything with diet and they support me on this. So they know I am diabetic. So I guess it must not be a big deal. But it was a big deal. <laughs> um, because Dre went ahead and had the pro procedure done, and um, not only did it not help with the pain at all, um, but Dre also had a very severe reaction to the uh, procedure, to the injections that were involved, and um, he, uh, we almost lost him. I don't know how else to put it. He, uh, his blood sugar was insanely high. He developed ketoacidosis, uh, which is the same condition that put my mom in a coma uh, the uh, year before last. Um, and he <laughs> had uh, sky high blood pressure. I mean, he was he was very sick. 
um, very, very sick. When I called the doctor's office and I was like, this is what's happening, what what should we do? He was like, uh, go to the emergency room, you're, you're having a very serious reaction. So, and it sucks because there's really nothing we can do uh, at this point. We just have to keep monitoring him until the injections are completely out of his system. And at any time, he can still be admitted into the hospital. Um, he, at any time, he can still uh, get very, very ill and, you know, pass out or go into a coma. I don't, I, I mean, and I don't even know what to do with that. that that's terrible and it's uh, terrifying. And um, <laughs> it's been, a living friggin' nightmare. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of anger. And there's a lot of frustration. Um, I really don't know why this doctor recommended this procedure, went through with this procedure. I don't know if the doctor ever even looked at Dre's chart or if he talked to any of the other doctors that Dre has seen. Um, even though they're in the same office, you would think that they would have a conversation. Um, I don't, I just don't, I don't know, I don't understand. And <laughs> at this point, we've had communications with their legal department because they uh, are acknowledging that there was a serious issue and a serious mistake that was made. And I think they're scared that we're going to sue them because, I mean, like I said, legal department's been talking with us. So <laughs> it's... Oh, it's been a nightmare. It's been an absolute, absolute nightmare. And I've been terrified. But on top of all of this, Dre, it's been miserable seeing Dre in pain and um, being just frustrated again. <sighs> again, with the uh, American medical system. It's just, it's, it's been terrible. <laughs> it's been a terrible experience. So, um... I wanted to give something to Dre that he could have with him, either in a hospital or uh, next to his chair or on his desk at work or wherever he may end up. I want him to be able to carry this little card with him that will show him or remind him that I'm there with him. Uh, it's two hearts that are kind of interlocked together. And obviously what I wrote on the back is um, a message about having hearts that are connected. Um, and basically I just want to remind him that anything he's feeling, I'm there for him. That whatever he's going through, I'm going through with him. And yeah, so it's a just a little message that I wanted him to get and <laughs> to receive because it's been, it's been a crummy time. Uh, if you would like, you can leave Dre a get well message in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you listening to this little random life update. Uh, if you liked this, leave a like and thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.